Hello, Slicey Dicers. This is Brian with another knife review for you. Today we have a not this knife. This is the Kaiser Mini Sheepdog. This is the Vanguard version. This is the new 2019 version with 154 CM steel. Uh, the previous version, the original from 2018, I called the funnest knife I reviewed of 2018. And I stand by that. It's a blast. It's a great knife. It's just a silly kind of cleaver blade shape. Uh, the action on it is just addicting. Fits in that fifth pocket of your jeans so you can carry it as a secondary. I carry it that way a lot. I love this knife. It is, I still maintain. It is the funnest knife I reviewed of 2018. Uh, for 2019, they did not come out with a Vanguard version of the regular Sheepdog. So this is the mini Sheepdog. The regular Sheepdog is, uh, we're just, I'm just going to measure it out here for you. It's seven and three quarters inches long. So you're looking at, well, we're going to start one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about there. It's, it's about about that long. Uh, so it's it's a bit bigger. Then they announced they're coming out with a Vanguard Sheepdog XL. You think, oh, that's just going to be a little bit bigger, right? It's, it's probably going to be what, you know, eight, eight, eight and a half, something like that. Uh, no, uh, this is the Vanguard Sheepdog XL. I just had to show these two next to each other. It's it's a ridiculously huge knife, and I'm going to say right away, uh, the most fun knife I've reviewed of 2019. It's it's just, it's silly, it's kind of pointless, and I really kind of love it. Uh, it's You got to have one big stupid knife in your collection. I thought I already had that. Uh, no, no, this is, this is my big stupid knife in my collection. Now, 99 bucks. It's not that horribly expensive versus sixty nine. You're paying for the uh, the smaller version. I would say that's a fair price because uh, they're both the same steel, one fifty four cm. I think just by the pound, uh, it, that's probably an extra thirty dollars one fifty four cm that's in that blade alone. It's uh, yeah, it's a big one. This is a huge knife. It's as you can see, shapes exactly the same. This Conway design uh, from Sheepdog Knives. It's just it's very. It's it just they just blew it up in the copier. They just made it bigger. You have a couple extra standoffs, um, you know, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a big sucker. Even just picking it up, you're like, oh my, this is a lot of knife. You see the colors are all the same. This is the CO1C XL. This is just the CO1C, uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, even the pocket clip's almost the same. It's just bigger. Everything's everything's just bigger and very much bigger. Uh, it's... It's a pretty cool knife. As I said, 154 CM steel, a good blade steel. Uh, it's uh, very, very comfortable in the hand. Even the little one is very comfortable in the hand. Uh, but this, now the small one, you can't get all four fingers on the grip. Uh, do you think you can get all four fingers on the grip on this one? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, you can do that. If you are a uh, seven-fingered freak, I think you could probably still get all your fingers on this. Uh, it is just a big, cool knife. You're running on bearings. It's just drop shutty is this is just a a fun i think i'm gonna put something in the in the title of this video so it's it's just it's just fun and stupid and and i love it it's not horribly expensive it's not like you're spending you know some guys spend you know two grand on you know heaters and stuff like that that are way over the top and can't really be used this is it's only 99 bucks and you can still kind of use it we'll talk more about that it actually is is good at a few things um, and it, also a thing I like, they brought back, it comes in this pouch. If you remember the Kaisers of your, uh, of, of, of yesteryear used to come in these Digicam pouches, but they didn't look like this. This has this really cool retro we look in Kaiser logo, which I've never seen them use before. Nice pouch. You can put more than one knife in there if you want. Uh, it's, it's kind of cool that it comes with this, the old school Digicam zipper pouches. I do like that. Now they come in these Velcro things, which are really nice. Um, and I was never that big of a fan of the Digicam, but of just the, from a color aspect. But uh, yeah, it's it's just cool. It comes in these again. Um, yeah, it's a big one. Let's uh, let's let's try and show how big it is. We're gonna have, is it fitting in the camera? I think it's fitting in the camera. We're we'll moving up here because I'm gonna do some size comparisons. So you have an overall length of nine and a quarter inches, blade length of four inches. You have a uh, blade thickness of 0 0.13, so it's actually not that thick of a blade and a uh, handle thickness of uh, 0 0.56 inches and a weight of a quite hefty uh, 9.15 ounces. So uh, it's not light, but you know what? The blade the blade stock's fairly thin. Um, let's, uh, 
let's in the handle thickness is pretty thin too let's bring out i'm going to attempt to bring out some other knives i have nothing even remotely close to the size of this but uh we'll bring out first of all just as a our usual your spider co paramilitary too yeah it's the height of this thing that really makes it so gigantic uh and then we'll bring out another this is a little bit longer of a knife I'm just going to kind of go up from size here and see if we can get close to it. We have the uh, Ontario Rat Model 1. Nope, uh, that's not close. Uh, we have the uh, ZT0562 tie. Yeah, nope, that's not really close. Um, we have the, uh, this will be close in length, I think think maybe this is the spider co native chief yeah it's close in length but in every other yep still no and probably the biggest beefiest knife i have in my collection and the one that i used to call my my biggest stupidest knife but it's actually not a stupid knife it's actually a great knife to use i use the crap out of this thing i'm really surprised by it actually is the uh, cold steel 8010 yeah nope it's still bigger. I know on Jimmy Slash's channel, he uh, whipped one of these out and put it next to a Formax, and it, it, it even kind of made a Formax look look a bit dainty. Uh, it, it's a, oop, dropped something there. It's a whole lot of knife, for sure. Um, but as I said, I think it's kind of cool. I'm going to attempt to review this as a normal knife review, but it's really kind of hard to do that with this. Uh, this isn't something you're going to EDC, uh, but it is actually a fairly useful knife. As I said, blade is always the most important part of the knife not terribly thick blade stock it's 17 thousandths behind the edge it'll slice for sure it'll definitely slice i was putting it through some cardboard and stuff it's great it, it does actually freaking work for sure if you're going out there and hacking it like just acres of cardboard or or you know i don't know rubber tubing something like that it's, it does it does actually cut very well this is not a useless blade i don't want to give it that i'm going to call this knife stupid in a glorious way it lots of times in this video but i do not want to give the impression this blade is useless it absolutely is not fairly thin behind the edge fairly thin blade stock it cuts very well it's very sharp out of the box it, it does actually work um i was i was going to attempt to film a cutting demonstration where i was going to have my son throw coconuts at me and, and cut it <laughs> but i don't think that would have worked <laughs> but uh I, I don't know you might be able to cleave a coconut with this thing uh it's a uh, it's a big bruiser of a blade, but it does work. It's a sheep's foot blade, as the name would indicate. So you don't have much piercing or anything like that. Um, ergonomics, it's great. I mean, the regular size sheepdog is great. Uh, this is just bigger. It works well. I love Kaiser's G10 texture. I don't think I mentioned this enough. On their Vanguard knives, to me, they hit a perfect balance between grippiness and being able to slide it in out of your pocket. It's uh, I really do like their G10 grippiness. This has that uh, their their grip level. Grippy, grippiness scale i'm not going to start a scale that would be that would be silly um but it is comfortable in the hand for sure absolutely uh, it does work well and as far as the carry goes <laughs> i gotta do it even though i'm trying to retire yield wranglers we're gonna bring them out for one more um it'll fit in a pocket it'll it'll fit in a pocket and here we go uh-huh it's in the pocket and there's not that much sticking out honestly uh make sure you're wearing a belt uh, it is an uh, over nine ounces um can i get my hand past it and no <laughs> no i mean yeah what if you have this in your pocket uh that's what's in that pocket that's it i i know i've used the phrase pocket dominator a lot this is the this is the textbook definition of pocket dominator it is definitely that's all you're gonna carry um the action is is really good i love the action on the smaller version and this is no different i have not taken this part any but listen to that sound <laughs> hold on i gotta stop giggling that's a lot of noise yeah that's one of the loudest liner lock liner locks i've ever heard that is uh yeah, that's a good noise. It is, of course, it's drop shutty. It's a freaking gigantic blade. Uh, what would you expect? Good detent. It fires out well. Like, it it just works as a knife fantastically. I've not torn this part. I think if I loop, mo most Kaisers I do normally need to lube up a little bit. I haven't done that with this. I think it would be a complete guillotine. 
if I lubed it up, and I'm almost a, a bit afraid of that, because that's a lot of blade to come down in your fingers if you don't catch it right. Uh, well, so what? what is my conclusion on this? Yeah, it is the funnest dumb knife I've reviewed of 2019. It's probably just, it's honestly just the most fun knife I reviewed of 2019. Is it, is it something that people need? Uh, no. Is it something I'm going to recommend for someone's everyday carry? No. Uh, but it's a, it's not a horribly useless thing. It does cut well. I could definitely see, you know, uh, you know, chopping up some meat with this or something like that. I, you know, it's, uh, you, you can use it, but it, it's a, it's a, you know what I'm going to call it? I just came up with this phrase right right now as we're doing this. Um, it is a very useful bit of stupidity. And uh, that that's what I'm going to call it. It is a, a very useful bit of stupidity. Uh, it's a, a very, very fun knife. And for 99 bucks, it comes in this black or in an OD green, by the way. They're sold out a lot of places now, but it's a regular production model. It'll be back again. Uh, uh, just a, It's just fun. It's just fun. I think White Mountain Knives had them the last time I looked. If you want to go there and check uh, whitemountainknives.com, use the code SDWMK at checkout. You get 10% off. I always have the link down there below in that. Uh, but, yeah, useful stupidity, and I, I love it. Everybody has to have one big stupid knife in their collection, and for 99 bucks, I don't think you can go wrong with this because you could spend $2,000 and still not get more stupid than this. So it's got the maximum bang for the buck in the stupidity market. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I've been Brian. Have a good one.